Spurs are lining up friendly matches with other Premier League clubs before Project Restart. Lucas Moura has stated that Harry Kane has made him into a better player. Former Spurs goalkeeper Paul Robinson has said that Tottenham have a real opportunity to close the gap and overtake Chelsea in the top four. Will Tottenham spend £8 million on a loan deal for Philip Coutinho? And Spurs are still interested in Cali Koulibaly. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Today is Tuesday, the 2nd of June. I'm going to go through all of the Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports from the last 24 hours. So first up, a report out from BBC Sport today, and they are stating that Premier League clubs are set for friendlies after being given the go-ahead. The Premier League has given clubs permission to play friendly matches with strict conditions before the restart of the Premier League on the 17th of June. The article states that top flight sides made requests to face other teams in preparation for the league's return, which was accepted according to the Daily Telegraph. Premier League leaders Liverpool held an 11-a-side game in training at Anfield on Monday and friendlies can be played at either stadiums or training grounds. However, the Premier League has outlined a number of conditions such as negative COVID-19 tests being returned by players involved. Measures have also been put in place to ensure Hygiene and social distancing rules are adhered to, which include Number one, clubs being forbidden from travelling for further than 90 minutes, though teams like Newcastle United will be granted special dispensation if they have to travel further. Number two, all players must travel in their own cars, possibly in their kits. Number three, no official referees will be allowed, with members of coaching staff taking charge. And number four, full risk assessments of the stadium or training ground before games. Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp has been talking about the situation to BBC Five Live and said, we will not have the help from the crowd, but no team will have that. So where is the advantage? Whoever we play, it is the same situation, which is why I'm not too worried about it. We have tried to simulate the situation by training in the stadium and getting used to it. A report out today from the Evening Standard and they are stating that Tottenham forward Lucas Moura believes that Harry Kane should be regarded as a Premier League legend, adding that the England captain has improved him as a player throughout his time at the club. Lucas Moura said the following about the Tottenham striker. For me, Harry Kane is already a legend of the Premier League in England. For me, his quality to score goals is unbelievable. With the right foot and left foot, he is just so strong. He shoots very, very strong. He's very competitive and he wants to win every training session, every game. And it's pushed me a lot to be a better player, to improve my game. If I don't give my best, it will affect him and he'll complain about this. So it makes me a better player for Spurs. A report out earlier today from the Football Insider and they are stating that former Tottenham goalkeeper Paul Robinson has claimed that Tottenham have a real opportunity to overtake Chelsea when the season resumes. After Harry Kane said how many wins he thinks his side will need to clinch a top four spot. Robinson told the Football Insider they are relying on other teams dropping points, but we are in unprecedented times where the home advantage has disappeared. I think that we will see some strange results and some results that we were not expecting. I'm very glad that the league will be played out and I'm glad that I'm not a gambler between now and the end of the season because results will be very hard to predict. Tottenham are seven points off Chelsea, but there is a real opportunity to close that gap. Now, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Can Tottenham reach the Champions League next season by finishing in the top four?
In the last week or so, there has been so many media reports published all about Philip Coutinho possibly joining Tottenham Hotspur Football Club this summer. There is a report out today from the Daily Express and it states that Philip Coutinho hasn't ruled out leaving Barcelona for Tottenham when the transfer window reopens, according to reports. The Brazilian international is set to return to the new Camp at the end of the campaign after Bayern Munich made it clear that they wouldn't be signing him permanently. And as well as Spurs, the likes of Chelsea, Arsenal, Newcastle, Leicester and Manchester United are also keen on the 27-year-old for him to return to the Premier League. Former Tottenham striker Darren Bent has been talking to the Football Insider all about the possibility of Tottenham signing Philip Coutinho. And he said, you're talking about a top, top player who knows the Premier League very, very well. It's not like you're taking a risk. Coutinho's a top player. He's a superstar signing that Spurs need. And even if it is on loan, that's the sort of superstar that they need to maybe encourage other superstars to come there. He then went on to say, for me, I'd go all out and pay that £8 million. Pay that and try and get him. £8 million for a top player like him for a year. You take that risk because at the end, you never know. At the end of the year, it might work out really, really well. He could transform Spurs into an absolute powerhouse of a team. I wouldn't even consider it. I would just do it. Now, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If it was as simple as that, paying £8 million up front and paying Coutinho's wages, is it a good deal for Tottenham Hotspur Football Club? Reports out today in the French and Italian media and they are stating that Tottenham Hotspur Football Club are still interested in signing 28-year-old centre-back who plays for Napoli, Cali Koulibaly. Could he be a Tottenham Hotspur player in the 2020-2021 season? He has played 173 games for Napoli so far. He has been capped uh, 42 times by Senegal. He is 28 years old. He is a centre-back. Could he be the perfect replacement for Jan Vertonghen? Southampton legend Matt Letizia was talking on Sky Sports earlier today and revealed that he could have signed for Tottenham Hotspur back in 1990. He was very close to signing for Spurs. He admitted that he was a Spurs fan as a kid growing up. He was very tempted by the move, but he has no regrets. But he does think that it did cost him a couple of England caps not signing for Spurs. Former Tottenham goalkeeper Paul Robinson has been talking about Troy Parrott and believes that his latest injury comes a bitter blow to the striker who he claimed would have wanted to make an impression when the league restarts. Robinson has been talking to the Football Insider again and he said it is a blow for him personally because he has been chomping at the bit and knocking on the door this season. He was so close without actually getting a proper chance. Fans and pundits have been calling for him to get a chance so it is unfortunate timing for him. Robinson then added, you just hope that he can get himself fit and right for the start of next season. He can take some time out now, get right and focus on hitting the ground running next season and put the disappointment of this season behind him. In just under three weeks' time, Tottenham Hotspur take on Manchester United back in the Premier League. The Premier League is back. Tottenham have nine games left. Now, please do put in the comments section below what I'd like to ask you is, will Tottenham finish in the top four? Will we get Champions League for next season? Will it be Europa League for next season? Or will it be no European football at all? For the Manchester United game, how do you think Jose Mourinho will set up? Harry Kane hasn't played a Premier League game or indeed any competitive football since the 1st of January. Will he walk straight back into the team? Or will Jose Mourinho have him on the bench, give him the last 20 minutes of the game? How do you think Tottenham will set up? What is Jose Mourinho's best eleven?
Last year in May, I was very lucky to get this award, the Best Club Content Creator Award at the Football Blogging Awards at the Etihad Stadium, the home of Manchester City. It was actually the day after the Ajax game. I flew back from Amsterdam, went straight up to Manchester and won this award. What a 24 hours uh, watching Lucas Moura score that hat-trick and then picking up this award. Well, I have just been notified that I have been shortlisted for the 2020 award for the Football Content Awards at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium this November. Um, you can vote for me um, for this award. Um, in the comments section below, I put all of the links. You can vote via Twitter and Instagram, but probably the easiest way is to just go onto their website, um, go down the scroll down boxes and just see my name, Chris Cowling, and then just pre press the submit button and then you will cast your vote. I would really appreciate it. What a moment it would be to lift a trophy at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do put all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below on everything I have spoken about in today's video. If you don't subscribe to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. We are now at just over 35,600 subscribers. So thank you to every single person who watches this channel on a regular basis, subscribes and comments below. I'll see you tomorrow. Stay safe and well. Come on, you Spurs. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you like the shirt I have been wearing in today's video, you can order one of these shirts and many, many more from toffs.com. You can also get in touch with them by email. It is inquiries at toffs.com. All of the links are um, in the description box below this video. Um, they have an absolutely superb range of retro Tottenham shirts, so don't miss out.